Cheers, mate. Saying goodbye the Aussie way. Good day, learners. Today, we're going to be exploring the fascinating world of Australian culture, specifically focusing on farewells. It's essential to understand the cultural context of language to communicate effectively, and Australia's laid-back and friendly culture is no exception. So, let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the general style of Australian conversation. Australians are known for their friendly, casual, and sometimes humorous approach to language. This casualness extends to farewells, where the emphasis is less on formal language and more on genuine warmth and friendliness. Now let's explore some of the most common Australian farewells. Remember, these might vary depending on the region, situation, or the person you're talking to. 1. See ya. This is an informal and casual way of saying goodbye. It's short for see you later. 2. Cheers. In Australia, cheers is a versatile word. It can be used to say thank you or goodbye. 3. Haru. Although not used as widely as see ya or cheers, this is a distinctly Australian goodbye. It's a fun, unique, and very Aussie way to say goodbye. 4. Catch ya. This is another casual and friendly way of saying goodbye. It's short for catch you later. 5. No worries, mate. This phrase is a hallmark of Australian English. It can be used at the end of a conversation to mean don't worry about it, it's okay, or goodbye. In Australian culture, the context matters a lot. While these farewells are generally casual and friendly, you need to consider the situation, the person you're talking to, and the relationship you have with them. For instance, while it's acceptable to use, see ya, or cheers, with friends, they might be too informal for a professional or formal setting. There you have it, mates. Now you're equipped with some of the most common and distinct ways to say goodbye in Australian culture. Remember, language is all about connection, and what better way to connect with Australians than by bidding them farewell in their local lingo. We hope this lesson will make your English language learning journey more fun and culturally rich. Haru for now, and keep practicing!